Good morning YouTube. Just wanted to make a short video to show the new heater I'm working on. Uh, using mostly the same parts that I that I had on this one here. Uh, you know, but uh, what it is is I had a uh, extra brake drum and so I just kind of flipped that over and um, used that to uh, connect to that uh, 30 gallon propane tank. Um, just to make more of an open cylinder, I was hoping that I'd have a uh, settling tank to use for this, but uh, it just hasn't uh, emptied out yet, so I'll have to wait on that one. But uh, this was uh, trying to get a little more heat than the other one. Uh, I also wanted to try putting some uh, heat exchanger pipes in there, uh, but the uh, general setup is the same as the one I had in the previous video uh, with that 75 CFM blower, uh, inch and a half black pipe. Now I put the pipe up higher because I wanted the tube to be a little longer, figuring I could get more air and, and get a cleaner burn, but uh, that didn't matter that much. I wound up uh, welding some of those holes shut so that I, the other one had uh, 20 holes, this one has 30. Uh, either way, I'm still getting a, a really clean burn. Okay, here we are, sir, for some, uh, hopefully you get to see some temperature readings. So, since it's about 950 or so, that's kind of like the range I like to be. I know I'm a little hotter on the side here, but that's the temperature I like on the bottom. I, I try to keep it from the uh, brake drums from glowing. Here in these uh, heat exchanger pipes, if I can get it in there pretty far, you can see them 450 or so. They were a little hotter in this one. So I'm siphoning off a lot of air. You can really feel that heat coming through there. This is what I think is cool. There's my uh, chimney pipe. Uh, upper 200s, uh, around three, somewhere in that ballpark. Hitting, thought I saw a 350 in there, but still, I'm um, siphoning off a lot more heat than uh, it's going up the chimney. Okay, so here's a picture of the uh, fire. Here I cut the top so I can see what was going on. I was really hoping to get more of a blue flame. I got some blue where uh, you know where the air comes out of the pipe, but I'm still getting a yellow flame, but it's really burning good. Here's that same picture uh, top off. You can see there's uh, just not even a hint of smoke. And uh, like I said, getting a nice clean burn. So here's a uh, side view of those heat exchanger pipes. Uh, I made them just so they were underneath uh, so that the fan would, would blow through there. Uh, I wanted to put them above that center ring, but I had to put them below or else I'd have to use a separate blower. Like I said, I was trying to make it easy. These uh, pipes are made of a, um, I cut up a uh, gas water heater. Inside that gas water heater is like a chimney, which is three inch and it's about eighth inch. It's an awesome pipe. Um, like I said, I cut that up and I easily got, uh, you know, three lengths. I did want to put three pipes in there, but with the uh, with the uh, blower tube going in, I just couldn't squeeze that third one in below it. So I settled on two. Okay, so here's a picture of the bottom, uh, upside down, obviously. Um, that's that uh, inch and a half black pipe that I used on the other one. Um, I actually made uh, the bottom part much bigger or you know longer because so I wanted to try more holes to see if it would make any difference. Um, like I said, this one, the other one over there has uh, has uh, I think 20 holes, and this one here had 40 holes. Um, but it, uh, when I watched it from the top. Uh, the top 10 holes were doing nothing. The fire was all down the bottom, so I welded them shut, leaving me 30 holes. That seems to work really well. I also had this open before, and uh, that worked good and hot, but what happened is it was using twice as much fuel, and uh, the whole purpose of this is to, uh, to hopefully get the, the, the good temperature with the burn a minimum amount of fuel, so it burns super clean. Uh, that plate there just kind of 
keeps the bottom extra hot so it burns better. That's just a four inch hole cut there because I figured I had a, a four inch pipe so that four inch hole seemed to work good. Uh, and that worked well. It, it, it makes the bottom stay super hot. Uh, the hole is actually just a hair off centered because the fire seems to rush from the bottom uh, right to uh, the chimney pipe. So that makes it go through the, you know, those two heat exchanger pipes, like right through the center. So they're both about the same temperature. Uh, when it was open before, I had like one pipe would be 600 and the other one only be 400. So when I did this hole in the center like this, it made both pipes, you know, both run around 600. So that's worked much better. Um, doing a little experiment here. Uh, I got my, uh, my container. I got this running. I'm gonna let it run for an hour and see exactly how much fuel we're uh, burning an hour when I'm like at a you know like a medium burn. Sometimes when it's uh, not so hot out, and I don't have to like really let it rip. Um, like I said, I can turn it down even more, but this is where I get that 900,000 degree temperature. And uh, here's a picture of the base. This is after a week's uh, worth of burning. And you can see I got a little bit of carbon down there, but uh, you know nothing, you know nothing bad. You look at the sides of that, you can see they're perfectly clean. You look at, look at this thing on the sides. There's no buildup. I did nothing to this. This is exactly the way it looked when I flipped it over. Uh, it's just like it's sandblasted. So, like I said, this is really running clean. And uh, you really don't have to clean it out. Like I said, that there, I just like to scrape that off every now and then. Like I said, I've been doing it about once a week. Um, just, uh, you know, so that buildup doesn't get to be too much. But you can see it's really not all that bad. Okay, so here we are after exactly 60 minutes of a uh, of a uh, 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 you know running. Uh, you can see I was running out of there. Had my uh, needle valve at one and a half turns, which is uh, what I've been keeping it at. And uh, exactly 60 minutes, and I'm right at about three quarters of a liter or 27 ounces. So that's uh, that is sweet. So I am definitely uh, burning less fuel with the uh, with the blower. Yeah, so that blower's made a big difference between how much cleaner these both are. Uh, so they just look like they're sandblasted. This one here, you can see there's some carbon buildup on a tube. But uh, like that that uh, rotor there, so it looks like it's sandblasted. Same thing with the uh, with this new one. Just looks like it's sandblasted. No uh, no carbon buildup whatsoever. And uh, I don't have any buildup in my uh, chimney pipe. So it's uh, definitely burning much cleaner. I don't know if it's uh, the velocity or you know whatever it is. It's just uh, like I said, it looks like it's sandblasted. I uh, I wanted to uh, make this out of a uh, uh, acetylene cylinder that I thought I would have used up by now, but for some reason the thing just won't empty out. So I had this uh, uh, you know propane bottle and I just made it out of that. So. Uh, it's like it says mostly just tacked some of it's uh, welded and where I just tacked it I uh, sealed it up with furnace cement just to just to do a quick so okay So once again, uh, here's that uh, the new heater. I'm working on I still got a lot of welding to do to it um, Everything's just kind of just tacked together um, the top there comes off. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a hinge on it or just put a couple handles to lift it straight up. Uh, but like I said, I, I'm, I'm liking this direction. Uh, with the other one there, I thought they, that uh, restriction, keeping the uh, bottom really hot, was a bad thing. And then I thought about it going, it's really nothing wrong if I'm keeping the heat down the bottom where it's easy to uh, use a fan to blow it off. And I got, you know, a lot less heat going out the chimney. So... Um, with this one here, uh, I'm using less fuel, uh, about 27 ounces uh, per hour. Uh, some people would say, who cares, uh, waste oil, you can get it anywhere, which you kind of can. Uh, for a while there, um, places were starting to buy waste oil, so it was a little hard to get, at least for me anyway. So I just had to burn uh, what I had left over from oil changes here in my little shop, which uh, you know, I get maybe 40 gallons a year or so, give or take, depending on, uh, you know, how many oil changes and transmission and uh, hydraulic fluid and that kind of stuff. So I was just trying to work with what I have and not have to worry about, you know, going to find it. 
I went up to the uh, garage where I buy my gas and uh, that guy was happy to give me 300 gallons if I wanted. The only problem is I had to pump it out of his tank and uh, I don't have a pump that'll, you know, do that quick. You don't want to be sitting around for an hour trying to fill a 55 gallon drum. So uh, winter's almost over, you know, they put these away until next year. But uh, I hope you like this one. If you uh, do, uh, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. Subscribe and uh, you get to see uh, what we come up with next because I I got a couple ideas I that water healer that I cut up I want to make a big one out of that. I got a really big brake jump for the bottom if I go that way um, And I also want to make one out of a, a acetylene tank just to see how that works I'm thinking I'll take the acetylene tank and flip it upside down because it's got the uh, You know where the regulator goes in I can bring my hole through the bottom and cut a door in it and, uh, and see what happens with that so, once again, thank you for watching. Have a good day.